Yeah, Idalia just made landfall as a powerful Category 3 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. It was a Category 4 prior to landfall, but it slightly decreased in intensity. That doesn't mean that its impacts decreased. It's just the categorization changed by about five miles an hour to change that number. But it did recently make landfall early in the morning. Now, it could possibly be an unprecedented event with the path that Idalia is taking. Yeah, this region has rarely experienced hurricanes of this strength on record, and it is driving a powerful storm surge in an area susceptible to a lot of uh, inland inundation, and they've seen over six feet of water above where it should be already. How damaging could this storm potentially be? Uh, Residents aren't out of danger yet, are they? No, it will uh, persist with an extreme wind warning for some time, which is gusts expected well over 100 miles an hour. But the winds are happening at the same time as the heavy rainfall and the storm surge coming in. So it will be some time before those hazards start to abate. That's uh, in particular what's um, damaging or dangerous about this particular storm, isn't it? It's the wind factor and we've seen it pass through Cuba as well. Yes, and one of the things to consider is uh, how quickly the storm itself is moving. So it won't have as much time for those winds to slow down over land, which will bring damaging gusts well inland with uh, damage expected north of Florida into Georgia as well. So is that expected to pass through densely populated areas? Some densely populated areas, yes, but it will be catastrophic for many folks in its path, whether it's densely populated or they're in a more rural area. How are authorities and millions of residents preparing for the storm? What are the most effective measures that can be taken with a a hurricane like this? When it comes to storm surge, it's getting out of the way of the water, so evacuation. And for those who are still uh, more inland but in the path of those uh, strong winds, it's sheltering in place similar to what we do in the path of a tornado. And if the waters start to rise where they are due to either storm surge or heavy rainfall and thus freshwater flooding, it's getting to a higher location. How long will they have to stay away, do you think? Oh, that is a tough question because uh, once the hazards have uh, passed, it's going to take time to evaluate damage to infrastructure for them to see how they can then get back to their homes. Of course. How will this storm likely compare with other recent major hurricanes to hit the US? It's going, every storm is unique because of where it hits and how the trajectory it takes and that sort of thing. But uh, we are concerned about what we will see in daylight once the storm has passed with damage to roads, uh, inundation due to water and potentially in the areas with the strongest winds, uh, snap trees and very badly damaged structures. Well, Idalia will be the first storm to hit Florida this hurricane season, I understand. The first of quite a number that you're expecting? We don't necessarily expect a lot to hit the same location. Uh, we message that it only takes one storm for it to be bad for somebody. And unfortunately, Adalia is becoming that storm for much of the Big Bend and other parts of the northern coast of Florida and the Gulf. But we have already seen a weaker storm hit Texas. And uh, it's a reminder for everyone to remain aware as we are in the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. Also another concern, I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, is the presence of a rare blue supermoon which can cause higher than normal tides. Is that right? So when it comes to tides, that can worsen how far inland the storm surge uh, gets. Right now it looks like we're approaching high tide, which is going to continue to push water in as the storm itself is pushing water in. So it does worsen the concern that a wider area will feel the effects of that storm surge. Well, Dr. Kim Wood, I hope you and everyone uh, in the affected areas can stay safe. Thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate uh, your, your time tonight. Thanks for having me.